See, in life, you need to understand one thing: that money plays an important role in creating narratives. Are you all seeing this trend these days? That many of the ministers are now giving podcasts to YouTubers. This trend will keep on increasing. In fact, many political parties now have a party fund dedicated for these activities. Just throw away a couple of lakhs to these YouTubers, and then YouTubers will shape narratives in favor of that party. They will do podcasts with these ministers, and they will ask questions that are pre-approved by the minister. And this quagmire of politician influencers complex, Hindustan ki janta will face the brunt. Why? Because they will receive biased news or opinions or narratives. They will not be asking tough questions. Why? Because two lakh per podcast. You own our soul now. So hundreds of years ago, British did something similar. Not making this up, they gave a loan of rupees fourteen lakh to Nawab of Dhaka. And where do you think now Nawab's loyalty will lie? Nawab of Dhaka even started supporting the partition, and many of the Nawab of Dhaka subscribers, in the form of other middle class and upper middle class Muslims, they all started supporting the partition. So I think because of few people, entire religion gets a bad name. No, some segments. They remained neutral because they had vested interests. Karzan declared that one of the reasons for the partition was to invest in the Muslims in Eastern Bengal. Muslims in Eastern Bengal will now enjoy the unity that they have not enjoyed since the day of old Muslim rule. That's what he said, Karzan. Now, a question for all of you: Was Swadeshi movement confined to just Bengal, or was it an all India movement? 